The Cape Coast Metro Director of the Ghana Education Service, Madam Dorcas Brenda Asari, has called on parents and other stakeholders in the metropolis to support the supervisory effort of school heads by encouraging the awards to be in school. Over the years, recalls in the metropolis has proven that a handful of children of school going age are seen to be irregular in attending school, which in turn result to continuous poor academic performance at the long run. Speaking to TV UCC News, at the end of a three-day leadership training workshop for basic school heads in the Cape Coast metropolis, Madam Brenda Sari said, parents must ensure that their wards are in school because of the free education policy that the government is implementing. She indicated that the head teacher is at the center of learning and it is the hope of the directorate that the models that they have taught to implement in their various schools will yield fruitful result. I want to extend a hand to parents and all stakeholders that they should come and support Cape Coast, uh, Cape Coast Metro. And the support here, I mean, you know, uh, appreciating what uh, head teachers and teachers are doing and then maybe um, making sure that their children do not sit at home. This is a metropolis, but you see a lot of people, you know, staying at home. We have embarked on um, back to school campaign and other activities engage um, uh, parents and other stakeholders in the communities so that we, we, we bring every school going age child back to school because there are still uh, children who are not in school and sometimes the, the, the uh, attitude is that they come to school they go back home and then they come again and you realize that if there's no continuity then definitely we are not going to get the desired results that we want for the metropolis. And so we are calling upon parents and then asking them to support us in that direction. When their children, uh, children stay back in the house, they should let them come because I see no reason why uh, uh, education is free in Ghana and any child should be left out. And so this is our... Uh, uh, a clarion call on parents. And we also want to extend uh, our gratitude to the Metro Assembly for all the support, in fact, provision of furniture, uh, though we are still yet to achieve uh, uh, our goal or where we want to reach. They are supporting us with the Metro mock examination. It is the Assembly that is supporting us. And so we want to extend our gratitude to them that they are doing their best but we know there is always small room for improvement. And to my head teachers and teachers, we will want to say that we are working as a team. If we want to achieve results, then we must all come together. And it's a teamwork. And with that mind or mindset, we shall surely achieve our um, desired result that we have been wishing for Cape Coast Metro. On his part, Director General of the UNESCO Category 2 Institute for Educational Planning and Administration, IEPA, Dr. Michael Bachi Adam, reiterated the need for school heads to collaborate rather than compete amongst each other for the overall upliftment of the metropolis and the region at large. So one thing that we are confident they are going back with is the issue of collaboration within education, that even though there are individual heads in their schools, individual schools, um, they are going back with the view that they must collaborate. They are not competing with, with among themselves. Uh, it is not about my school was ranked number one in the region and my school was ranked number 10 in the region. At the end of the day, um, your school, my school, the other person's school's performance will come together to give us the regional ranking. And, and therefore, uh, they should work collaboratively, support each other. So if, for instance, um, you have a teacher who struggles to teach a particular topic in physics or chemistry or integrated science, um, I believe that you would hope to collaborate with other teachers in a different school to support you in that direction. So they are going with this collaborative uh, mindset uh, going back to their schools. Ghana is poised to ensure that come 2030, the Sustainable Development Goal 4 and all the SDGs will be achieved. But without education, the country cannot develop in the way that it wants to develop. 
So it's very imperative that health teachers take all the knowledge that they have learned over these three days, not just for their schools in the Cape Coast metropolis, but also the other head teachers that they interact with in other districts, other metropolis, so that together as a nation and as uh, people in education, planning and administration, we'll begin to see the incremental effects of these things. So come next year, we can see that BECE, WASI results are better and that the necessary planning and implementable actions have been taken to ensure that our students, our pupils, are the greatest beneficiaries. We also interacted with some heads who were participants at the workshop. Uh, I must start by commending my Metro Director and IAPA for bringing this program to bear. In fact, it's been very beneficial. And it's something that we've been waiting for. Because somewhere along the line, the subject teachers, the core subject teachers were trained. And if they trained the teachers, then the head teachers who are sort of manning everything in the school, then what are we doing? So when this program came up, we said, yes, in fact, this is the time. And so we are very grateful. And for the three days that we've spent here, in fact, I wouldn't say it is time wasted. We've learned a lot. And I know my colleagues and I are going back to bring about that change that will impact on the teachers and the learners and most especially to improve the performance of BEC in the metropolis as we all want it to be. My name is Isa Kujo Otu, Cup Chairman for Cape Coast Metro and the Head Teacher of Pedu MA Basic A. Yeah, I think uh, this workshop couldn't have come uh, at such a time. We are so much facilitated, we are enthused about the workshop. It has offered us opportunity to go and rebrand ourselves, to go and do things differently from what we have done so far. Letter learning is a uh, it's an amazing thing. Letter learning is just an amazing thing. And the three days, I don't know how much we should quantify it. If we should talk about what has been imbibed within these three days, it's amazing. Distributed leadership and a whole lot of things. Uh, oftentimes we think when we're a leader, uh, you have to be on your own, think that uh, you supersede everybody in the school. But we have just been exposed to the fact that if we're a leader, you need to distribute everything in the school to your members. Even the class one child should be a leader. When you assign them to positions, when you ask them to lead, it is then that they realize that whatever is going on in the school, they are owners of those things. And I think it was very good. The professors who came, they're all masters on themselves. And whatever they have taken us through, I think it is something that we are going to use them.